I'm going to give you a, a demonstration of, of how to mix plaster pliers without having to measure uh, with a uh, water measure or even a plaster measure. You can do it by eye. It's a thing that's been done for generations and you can learn it as easily as I'm going to show you. First of all, you get a clean, and I do mean clean, basin in which to do it in. It doesn't, any residual plaster that's in that basin will affect the setting time and the quality of the plaster that you have mixed. So it must be clean. I have put enough water to do one model. Into this, I'm going to sift, and this is the, the point, sift plaster paris into this water. Remember that the eventual model must not have any bubbles on the surface of the model, which will deter the fit. You've got to cut them off and whatever. But bubbles are absolutely out of the question and you don't get them if you do this the right way. And it's just a physical way of doing it. You literally sieve the plaster very gently so that it gets wetted straight away instead of putting a blob in, which will be dry in the center. So you literally sift it in like this. Be patient because it's important that all those bits that are going in there are wetted as they go into the bowl. Now what we're going to be looking for now is that. You see the way there's plaster on the top and it's taking time to go through? That's because you've nearly got to the state that you're going to mix it. You're waiting till there's dry plaster that's not absorbing quickly, like that. Let that absorb into the water until that goes dark as that gets as it gets saturated i think we need a little bit more i can see water as it were free around the outside so i put a little bit more in a la like that i feel it then and by putting the spatula in there i can tell that there isn't quite enough plaster in just sprinkle on the top a little bit more dry plaster at, like that. And you see again, it starts to get the moisture coming into the center there. Leave it until there's just a little bit of dry. When it gets to that stage, you can put your spatula in. Now then, I do it with my hands cupped around the meeting. And what you're going to do is press the plaster against the side of the bowl as you mix it. You will see little tiny bubbles. You'll see them coming on the outside. Those are being dispersed by the way you are spatulating this. You're kind of pushing the spatula in and round so that you're pushing to the side, dispersing the bit. And then when you see that you're getting no bubbles, you can feel there's a thickening effect coming. And I can feel now that there's resistance to my spatulating, right?